In today's lesson, we are going to be stepping back into the shoes of graphic designers, where we're going to create the identity for a brand new burger joint opening up in Pomona. The only information we've been given about this place so far is the name of the company, which is Pomona Burger Co. And we've also been given their menu, which is a pretty simple Microsoft Word document. It doesn't look very attractive at all. So our job today is going to be split up into two sections. We're going to be creating a brand new logo for Pomona Burger Co. And we're also going to be redesigning this pretty bland looking menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this lesson into two video tutorials. The first tutorial is going to focus on the logo design side of things. And the second video is going to talk about the menu design. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're going to be focusing on logo design first of all. And before we get stuck in creating our logos, we're going to have a look at a few tips of what it takes to make an effective logo. So I've got uh, my top six logo design tips for you now to have a look at. The first tip I've got for you is color simplicity. You should be using between one and three colors in your logo design. You'll find that most of the top companies in the world use between one and three colors in their logos, and so should you for today's activity. The reason being is if we start to use more than three colors, um, it starts to get a little bit cluttered and a little bit crowded in our workspace, and your logo will actually start to look a bit tacky. It'll look like a rainbow slapped together by some 10 year old in primary school. So we don't want that look at all. We want our logo to look professional. Okay, so the way we do that with colors is use between one and three colors. Just keep it simple. The second tip I've got for you is to make sure your logo is versatile. And that means a number of things. Um, it should look good at different sizes, first of all. So it needs to look good really small, for example, printed on packaging or maybe on a business card. It should also look good really big. So for example, on the side of a um, building, maybe on a billboard, like in this picture here. Okay, you need to be able to um, have viewers read your logo at different sizes. You also need to think about the materials your logo is gonna be printed on. Is it gonna look good on the materials that it will be printed onto? And will it look good in different color variations? So you might have a colored logo here, like the McDonald's logo. But think about when it's photocopied it'll come out in black and white. So is it gonna look good in those sort of colors? Okay, so you need to think about your logo. Is it going to be versatile? Can it be used in lots of different places at different sizes and different colors? Number three is a simple one. Use clear typography that is easy to read. So typography is just your text or your font. As you can see here, Downtown Burgers, super simple to read. It's a very plain font, nice big letters, and they stand out nicely in this logo, okay? You need to make sure your text is easily readable. Number four, um, you should make your logo memorable and unique. And that simply means it shouldn't look like any other logo that you've seen before, okay? You don't want your logo to remind customers of some other company. Okay, when they see your logo, they should know it's your business and they should remember your business just by looking at that logo. Number five, you need to make your logo connect to the business. Okay, so that simply means um, the picture in your logo should relate to what your business is all about. So this example here, obviously it's a burger company, so they've got a picture of a burger in the background. So that logo relates or connects to what the business is about. Okay, so in your logo design, since we're doing it for a burger joint, I pretty much expect to see some sort of burger picture in your logo. And the final one, as I said in my previous video, most graphic designers know this um, principle, the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. Okay, we don't need some big fancy artwork for a logo, we just need a simple design. Simple shapes, simple colors, simple text. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. So they're my top six tips for creating an effective logo. What we're gonna do now is head over to Adobe Spark and we're gonna start creating our own logo. So once we're on the homepage of Adobe Spark and we have logged in, you will be greeted with a screen similar to this. What I'm gonna get you to do is up the top here, just type in logo. We're not even gonna use one of these logos to be fair. Uh, we're just gonna click on one of these. Let's just click on this random one here and click create. We're actually going to delete everything off it and start from scratch. Okay, so it'll just take a second to load, depending on how fast your internet speed is. Once it's loaded, we're just going to basically delete all the text, all the pictures, and then choose a background color. Okay, so just click on the shapes, press delete on your keyboard. There we go. 
Now the background color I want today, I'm going to go with a darkish color. Um, I'm going to go with purple for now. Okay, this isn't actually part of my logo. It's just a nice background that it's going to contrast well with the logo I place onto it. Okay, so the colors you should be using in your design should be warmer kind of colors. They're colors like reds, yellows, oranges, browns, because they make people hungry and remind people of food. Okay, so if I just go to my colors for a sec here. Um, I've got the wrong box selected here. There we go. These bluey kind of colors, the cool colors and the greens and whatnot, they actually remind people of moldy food. So we want to stay away from those colors if we can help it. It's these warmer colors in the middle here that work best for food kind of logos. Think about all the famous fast food joints like Macca's, KFC, Hungry Jack's. They all use these warmer kind of colors. Okay, it invokes a bit of hunger in their customers. It also um, reminds people of food. So that's why we want to sort of stick with those colors. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture into my logo and then I'm going to put a bit of text around the outside of it. The way you're going to put pictures in today is you're going to go to the add option here. And we're not going to choose photo and we're not going to choose logo. We're going to choose icon. Icons are made up of really simple pictures that work well in logos. And I'm going to do a search for a burger. When I do a search for a burger, you're going to get probably hundreds of different burgers to pick from. So it's up to you to find a nice, simple looking burger that you think is going to work well in your logo design. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a quick browse through. Oh, what's a simple looking burger? That one there's pretty simple, so I might just run with that. When you click on it, it will appear over here. Now yeah, it might come out a funny looking color. I'm not overly sold on this color. So I'm just gonna click on my color option over here in my toolbar. And I'm gonna stick with one of these warmer kind of colors. I'll probably go with this orangey kind of color here. Yeah, I like that one just there. So that looks pretty nice. That's smack bang in the center of the page. I'm happy with that for now. Next thing I'm going to add in is some text. So I'm going to go to the add button again and choose some text. I'm going to add my own text. By all means, go through and look at the different templates. You might find one that would work well with your logo. So you can use them if you want, but I'm just going to add my own text. And I'm going to just write the word Pomona to start with. Okay, I might even do this in capitals. I think it might look a bit better. Okay, so I've got Pomona there. Now it's got this ugly background behind it, so I'm going to go to the shape feature here and scroll the top of that box and just say no backing shape. I'm then going to go back to the type feature here and I'm going to change my font. Now I saw one a bit earlier that I like the looks of called Jolly Lodger Regular. I think that's a pretty cool, kind of fun font. Okay, um, and the color I want for that, it's a bit, a bit light, I think, this one I've got selected at the moment. So I'm going to go back towards these warmer colors. Have a look at these yellows. I think they'll work well. That yellow there is nice. That bright yellow is pretty good too. I might go with this yellow just here. That doesn't look too bad at all. So Pomona will sit up the top there. How big that font is. Probably a reasonable size for now. You probably could jazz it up and make it a bit bigger if you wanted to. A similar kind of width to the burger. So around size 200 doesn't look too bad. Now I need to add in the words Burger Co. next. So I'm just going to duplicate this font, which means I'm going to make a copy of it by hitting this plus sign here. And that just makes a second copy that I can move down below. And I'm going to hit this little pencil to edit that text. And I'm going to say Burger Co. Click Done. So I'm just going to move that right into the middle. My Pomona Burger Co. there. Well, that text probably looks a little bit out of place now being that big. I might change it back to about 150 for the size. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So that's how easy it is to make a pretty effective logo in Adobe Spark. Um, so we can save that now. One thing we can do before we save is get rid of this little watermark. If you want, you don't have to, but I'm going to click on it and just click remove once. And I'll ask you to join a plan. I'm just going to say get started for free because we don't want to pay any money. That gets rid of that little watermark for us. Okay, so there's our logo. I'm just going to go up to the download button at the top here. And I'm going to download it as a PNG file or a ping file. And just click start download. We're going to keep it as a solid color PNG. 
and you'll see that it popped up in your downloads. So make sure you open that in your folder and move it to a place um, such as your flying folder in your accounts. But that is pretty much it. That's how you create a logo using Adobe Spark. So make sure when you create your logo, you follow these six tips by using simple colors, making sure it's versatile, using a clear font, making sure your logo is nothing like any other logo we've seen before. It should connect with the burger joint, so it should remind you of a burger place, and you need to keep it simple. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video where we will have a look at the menu design.